Meanwhile, major news in the effort to hold criminals accountable. D.C.'s crime lab has been partially accredited for forensic testing and biology and seized drugs. Our Daniel Hamburg joins us live in the newsroom with more. And Daniel, the district crime labs lost accreditation almost, what, three years ago. Yeah, Mark, in fiscal year 2020, 2022, a third of cases were not prosecuted. That has since increased due to partnerships with federal and local labs to get some of that testing done. But having an independent lab right here in D.C. is crucial to getting criminals off the streets. D.C.'s Department of Forensic Sciences hasn't been able to test drugs since April 2021. Its accreditation was revoked for a variety of issues, including errors, lack of expertise, and engaging in fraudulent activities. Which meant that we lost the ability to charge almost all drug cases. That's a big reason only 33% of cases were charged by the U.S. Attorney's Office in 2022. That's since increased to about 58%, but only between July and September of this year, once outside lab testing was secured. The U.S. Attorney's Office says a new accreditation certificate issued Friday will help prosecutors immensely when it comes to DNA and drug evidence. Being able to prosecute higher level drug offenses like the sale of drugs, the intent to sell, um, the people higher up who are pushing these drugs to our street, to our residents who are becoming addicted to them, that's huge. But Council Member Brianne Nadeau still has concerns, including the lab not taking advice from the Science Advisory Board an issue raised in an audit last year. The forensic science lab should be based on science, not politics. She says the accreditation of these two labs is a step in the right direction to get crime under control. Now the challenge is really pushing forward to figuring out if they're going to go ahead with that ballistics lab, which is one of the key pieces of addressing the crimes that we're seeing still here in the District of Columbia. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office said in a statement DFS will be able to hire essential experts and staff, enhance its quality assurance system, and further work towards ensuring its experts will be able and qualified for, test, for testifying in criminal cases. The mayor's office also called it a critical step to advancing justice for victims. In the newsroom, Daniel Hamburg, D.C. News Now.